Hello my friends, uh, my name is Alena Shkarov, I'm a raw food chef and today I'm going to talk to you about blooming rice. What is exactly blooming rice, you were asking me. So, you know, uh, there is specific variety, you know, there is white rice, there is brown rice, there is all kinds of rices, you know, available in the market, but there is also black rice. It is called wild rice, so that's how it looks. And it's actually not rice specifically, it's seeds of grass, you know, growing in specific regions of North America and in Canada. And it's usually harvested by hand, and so that's why the pricing is, you know, more expensive than <laughs> the white rice you will find uh, in a store. And this rice is available online in any store, everywhere, you know, you can find it. It's not something, you know, rare <laughs> and unusual. But, you know, it's very interesting, it's very interesting, it has way more nutrients, you know, like tons of nutrients and it's so much more healthier for you than regular rice because it's just not rice, it's superfood and I, as a raw vegan, you know, uh, I, the way we eat in our family this rice and we find it like super delicious and I'm sharing you, with you about, we bloom in the rice. So we making this rice to bloom. It means you know, it becomes super soft, it becomes super, super soft, super nice and palatable, and you can use it making, you know, uh, lots of dishes. So how exactly you, you bloom your rice? So we have here, you see uh, the, uh, like a cup of this rice, and I have a jar. So you, uh, you can do it in a bowl, you know, uh, different ways. I prefer using a jar because I think it's like the most easy way, the most uh, convenient. So you pour this rice, into the jar. Let me do it here like this. Mm -hmm. Так, okay. So we have it all here. I like how like the shape, it's like longer and it's, it's super long and super nice. So look, we have here this cup uh, of the rice just like that. So all I need to do now to add some water Uh, then closing with the lid and I have this lid you see it's a lid with mesh uh, with mesh part so I close it like this it's, it's good for you know circulation but later it will, it will be easy for us to use it I'll show you in a second and so you kind of like cover it with water give it a nice swirl and just let it sit on your counter just this way overnight so I usually do it in the evening so then during uh, the night it's the all, all the work get done by water so uh, some water get absorbed and kind of like it's wash it uh, at the same time. But what we need is to kind of like awaken the seeds because they were dried, you know, they were sitting on the shelf for a while. They were waiting for their time to, <laughs> to bloom again. And so what we do by, by this overnight soaking is kind of like giving them chance to, to wake up. So we're waking up the seed. Uh, then the next day, the next morning, when you come to your kitchen, you, uh, I do it in front of the sink, but now I'm, I'm here, so I'm just using this, um, this bowl. So you just uh, turn it around and you release all the water. And then you give a couple shakes, just like that. And so you see, we have this rice. We need to do it one more time. So again, just uh, swirling, give it a swirl. And yeah just do it again and we release as much water as we can from this uh, uh, from this jar so then we have this uh, uh, this rice like that and I like giving kind of like a shake so you see lots of it kind of like just sits around this uh, jar and then we need to place our jar on a rack uh, on, a, on a shelf and I have um, so it has to be like inclined this way so you see we still have some water dripping so we want this water to drip <laughs> somewhere. And I find it very convenient to use uh, this dishwasher rack. Let me show it to you. So that's how it looks. Oh. <laughs> so you see it has this tray underneath which collects water. And uh, it has a couple, um, couple shelves so I can fit easily three jars on the top and three jars on the bottom. And so look guys, what happened next? So it will take around uh, three days for your rice to bloom. So this rice is just fresh, fresh new, the one I just made uh, with you right now. Uh, here is the rice which been in its jar for two days. I need one more day to 
to reach the uh, you know the blooming state and consistency which I'm looking for and uh, so what I do I twice a day you know I wash it with water again uh, uh, pouring uh, pouring the water in a uh, just in your sink so you kind of give additional hydration to the seeds and you turn it around so it stays in this humid you know environment it's covered it's closed it's good temperature just enough sun some people prefer to put it actually in the cabinet so kind of like replicating the darkness <laughs> yeah i actually never done i always do it just here in my kitchen and i never had a problem with that but you can experiment right so and i leave it like this you know on my um on my shelf for uh three days or you see maybe depending on where you are it will take four days maybe it will take just two days so it's really 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 a little bit depend and uh, yeah in in uh in this uh just a few days you will have very soft blooming rice so blooming wild rice why it's called blooming because you know each rice is kind of like opens up you know it splits into a few sections and it and becomes like a flower but what's the main thing it became so soft and nice to eat that you don't need to cook it you don't need to fry it you don't need to boil it you don't need to do anything it's ready to eat and it's actually in such a great you know state that you know all this vitamins and all the nutrients will be absorbed so easily so so easily and it has you know wow like abundance of delicious stuff here like it's it's just like a super food uh, and you can make it so easy and so what i like to do i like adding it to my salads uh i also love making uh you know spicy curry uh sauce and mix it with this rice and lots of vegetables and i have an amazing video uh you know you, you will find this video um you know in the comment uh, in the description below of carrot blooming rice it's so delicious and what is the trick guys like when you have kids kids not necessarily like like you know all kinds of vegetables you know they like uh, at least you know leon Tintea, they like uh, tomatoes they like cucumbers they like uh, all kinds of salads but let's say they don't like zucchini and they kind of okay sometimes they like uh, uh, red bell pepper sometimes they don't like uh, so they're like specific of uh, you know special vegetables which they not necessarily will enjoy in a salad as it is but when i make this curry and all the vegetables are diced they eat it and they enjoy it and they ask for more so it's actually a cool hint for them you know, for parents to increase the number, the variety of uh, vegetables your kids eat. At least for it works for me, so I, I wanted to share with you too. So well, so this blooming rice is a great, great ingredient to, um, you know, to, to practice <laughs> with and to add to your diets. And so we discovered this technique, uh, you know, actually recently <laughs> and we really liked it and kids love it and so I, I i really enjoy you know making this curried rice and uh, we also making paella and um, yeah so basically any any dish which calls for rice you can make with this sprout and rice also as raw vegans we uh you know we make sushis uh, and when we make sushis i never actually tried with this sprout and rice because you know i kind of like sushis to be super fresh and uh juicy and so i usually I use jicama rice or carrot rice or broccoli rice, so this kind of stuff. But I really want to enjoy, uh, you know, try making it with this rice and I'll share the recipe and show you uh, how, it, uh, you know, how it turned out and how we liked it and everything. So I I'm pretty sure it will be epic and delicious. So, well, anyways, I encourage you guys to sprout. You, you can sprout not only rice this way. Uh, I have another video about sprouting all kinds of grains, all kinds of seeds, you know, using the same techniques, jars, leaves, you know, this rack uh, to get your seeds rest and, you know, get sprout. So, yeah, I really encourage you to dive into this sprouting adventure, eat more sprouted foods because sprouted foods is actually the most living food. Even when you eat, let's say, broccoli or greens or you know anything you know like which is raw uh you know it was grown somewhere in a farm it was picked you know a few days took to transportation to get it in on the shelves in a store then you come to the store and you buy it we actually love going to farmers market and support our local market uh you know farmers but anyways it's it's been picked a few hours ago and you know if you dive into this deeper with every hour you know more and more nutrients get lost and you know it's just like not the same as you would pick fresh let's say leaf straight from your you know garden and enjoy it in salad or put it in your juice or just eat it uh, like a snack 
it's a little bit different. So when you grow sprouts, it is the most living food because they've been growing right here and you eating them, you know, the next moment. So it's, it's really, it really makes sense <laughs> to incorporate this kind of food into your life. Okay, so start probably with blooming rice, you know, and then explore all other seeds and vegetables which you can, you know, sprout and grow. And yeah, I wish you a great day. Let me know what questions you have. Subscribe to my channel, ask me questions, give me suggestions what other videos you want me to film. I have a video with kitchen tour, I have a video with sprouts so far, and I'm gonna feel way more. So I'm here to help you and to support your healing journey and you are guys what you eat and you also you are what you feed your heart and your body you know with your thoughts and that's another topic i'm gonna dive in soon because you know what you eat is super important but what you put inside of your head inside of your heart it's actually super important sometimes i even think it's more important <laughs> But anyways, it was very fun uh, showing you all about uh, blooming rice. It was very fun sh uh, sharing with you about sprouting techniques. I wish you guys an awesome day and uh, yeah, be safe and healthy.